Hey there, it's Brittany and I am back with the May curated bead box called Ebony and Ivory. That's interesting. Um, I am going to go ahead and open this up in just a moment. They include everything that's in the box on the front and the corresponding codes. You can find those at their sister site, which is dollarbead.com. It also includes a um, findings kit each month and um, it's $20 including shipping. Um, if you want to save 35% on your first box, use coupon code TURQST35 at curatedbeadbox.com. Let me see what's in here. Okay, the first thing is this really, I actually really love crackle glass and I like the ones that are painted on the outside. A 12 millimeter iris crackle spray glass bead and eight inch string. These are so cool. It kind of looks like um like a cousin to Dalmatian Jasper because of those spots. <laughs> you know, I like the spots on Dalmatian Jasper. That's fun. I really do like uh, crackle glass. It makes me want to paint some of my crackle glass uh, beads. Then we have a 10 millimeter crystal crackle glass bead, eight inch string, very pretty. A 10 millimeter white gemstone style glass bead. So these are also kind of cracked. They look like cracked um, uh, crystal quartz to me. Those are fun. Eight millimeter white gemstone bead strand and seven to eight inches. It's nice. Six millimeter tourmaline, tourmalinated quartz gemstone bead, seven to eight inch string. So it's got um, little inclusions in there, little rutilations. That's cool. Six millimeter um, black marble glass style bead 16 inch string so it looks kind of black just or looks all black at first look but there are some spots that make it look marbled 10 millimeter silver filigree metal beads these are great um, to paint too unfortunately I don't have any of my paints here any of my vintage patina paints I would love to paint some of those and make a necklace although you can just keep them silver too we have a white faceted glass bead. These are 10 millimeter. They're about 15 beads in the baggie. 14 by 10 millimeter crystal luster faceted oval glass beads, eight beads. These are beautiful. I love these. 22 by eight millimeter um, silver filigree metal cones, 10 cones. Very cool. 42 by um, 42 by 16 millimeter key silver metal charm three charms those are cute i like those 30 by 18 millimeter white faceted oval glass beads two beads these are huge look at these big mamas those would be cool to wire wrap i like those those are really neat approximately one ounce of eight by six millimeter black oval glass beads with silver line. That's cool. I don't know if we can just look at one. Very neat. And then approximately one ounce of sparkle designer glass bead mix. So just a bunch of clear crystally beads I like this one right there in the middle. Very cool. And then last but not least, this um, the findings pack this month is silver. So I really like this. It's very cohesive. My favorites were these um, crystal, or were the crackle glass painted beads, um, the glass quartz-like beads, and these large beads. And um, I really liked these as well. So, all right, I'm going to pull something together and we'll make a project. Okay, so I'm just going to play around with this because I don't know which direction I want to go, but I'm thinking I want to make um, a fun pendant using this large white bead and some of these black beads. Uh, I'm going to cut this and um, I'm just going to string on quite a few of these. I am going to, um, since this is just a piece of wire that's just hanging out, for right now, I am going to make a stopper on that end, and I'm gonna slide on a lot of these black beads. I 
I won't actually need that stopper for very long because you'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I want these beads to kind of encapsulate half of my pendant. And I think, I think we're one bead too long, maybe two, two, two beads too long. Actually, I don't think I needed this, but better safe than sorry. And I am going to go through my big bead with both ends of my wire and pull that bead down to the middle of my piece of wire. So I'm just pulling partly that way and partly this way, and then we're just gonna move that bead down to the middle. Okay. I think I did use one too many beads or maybe two too many beads. So I'm just gonna tighten this on both sides. I guess it could stay like that, but I want it to hug that bead a little bit more. So I am going to undo it and redo it. Okay, so I'm thinking that I should fill in these sides right here with some seed beads or something because I don't really wanna see the wire but the issue we're gonna have is you're always gonna see a piece of wire. I think I'm gonna put a few seed beads on either side. I'm gonna find some that I think will match with this. Okay, looks a lot better. Just put two seed beads on either side just so there wasn't a whole lot of silver wire hanging out. If you like how the silver wire looks, go for it. Um, I am going to then, I want to use, is because I love the spots. I want to use I, I do love the silver stripes on these, but I think they'd be competing too much with the spots. So we might use those on something else or I might just put them in my stash. So I am going to put on just a couple more seed beads on each either side and then I am going to start with a black bead and then I'm going to go seed bead spotted bead seed bead spotted bead up each side until I don't have any more spotted beads and then um, I will finish off the necklace probably with the black beads in the back And I have a leftover bead, so that'll just go to the side, go in some bead soup, the best tastiest soup there is. <laughs> and then, um, like I said, I'm just gonna go spotted, seed bead, black, seed bead, spotted. And then we're just gonna do that until I run out of these spotted beads. I might fill in the back with the rest of these crystal beads or even um, these crackle glass beads. I think the crackle glass might work too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I have everything strung. Just ended up using about three or four of these um, other crackle glass beads. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp this. Um, and then I think I wanna try and hang this key that was in the box from the bead at front. It's gonna be interesting because I don't wanna un um, do everything just to get it on there. So we'll have to do some fun engineering. Um, in, the cl uh, in the bag, there were also some crimps, some uh, jump rings and some lobster clasps. So we'll go ahead and use those to close up the back of the necklace. All right, so I'll take one side of the necklace Put on a crimp and then I will bring it around a jump ring and then I am going to put 
push it back through my crimp bead. I'm going to bring this, if I can, down through some of these beads, but sometimes these little um, seed beads don't allow bead string and wire to go through twice. Mm. It's a little tight. I think I'm going to try it at least through that bead and this bead. There we go. I just like the look a lot better. I don't like the look of it being cut right at that um, crimp bead once we've crimped. And then we're just going to slide everything down. I'm going to hold my jump ring with my crimping pliers for a minute to get a good enough grip. Making sure that my wire isn't being gripped. And the issue we're seeing here is that this coming through my seed bead more than once is not giving it enough. There's not enough room in that bead for this the wire to move. So I'm having to do everything um, manually and it's a little, a little rough. I'm just trying to get everything down towards my bead. There'll be some wiggle room later, but I want to try and get as much as I can right now. There we go. And I am going to crimp. I'm actually just going to flat crimp this one today. So we're just going to press that. And I am going to trim my wire. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. But instead of using a jump ring, I'm going to go through my lobster clasp. Always make sure that the lobster clasp works before you crimp because I can't tell you how many times I've come across a bum lobster clasp. No matter who makes them, sometimes they just aren't gonna um, move correctly. These, this one's fine. And I'm going to do the exact same thing here that I did on the other side, but making sure that it's um, tight enough to where we don't have any gaps in our beads. All right, we're just checking along, making sure this is looking good. It's looking good. And again, I'm going to flat crimp this side. Sometimes it's easier to flat crimp when you're up against a, a seed bead like that. Sometimes um, seed beads tend to get in your crimpers and then they crack and you shatter them and that's no fun. All right, so we have the necklace. Now this is gorgeous either way. You could just leave it like that, but I'm gonna try and get this um, on here. I think I want, maybe we can just do two jump rings. We could do some wire wrapping, but I want it to be a little bit simpler than that. I'm gonna find my two jump, oh, spilled the jump rings. I'm gonna open up my two jump rings. I lost my pliers, I have no idea where they are, so I'm gonna be, <laughs> if you could all see what it looks like on this coffee table that I'm working on, you would be horrified. 
So I'm going to use some nylon jaw pliers and my grippers to open that up. So I'm going to find the middle bead, which is this one right here. I'm going to take this jump ring, put my key on it, and I'm going to slide that jump ring right on to the left of that middle bead. And you're going to be like, Brittany, it's not centered. I know. I know. We're getting there. And then hopefully this works because otherwise we're going to have to find a different way to do this, which I have an idea, but it, like, like I said, it's more complicated. And then we are going to take, ooh, I don't know. Don't know about this. Do another jump ring. And then that jump ring goes to the right of that middle black bead. Close that up. How does she look? Does she look a little? Yeah, it looks a little weird. Well, no, I think it looks good. Oh my gosh, I pulled it off. <laughs> All right. So, look at that. Isn't that cute? So we made a pendant just using stringing wire and a couple jump rings. I love this necklace. And you know, black and white goes with everything. So this will be definitely in the rotation. Easy light necklace for summer, especially in Arizona where it gets super hot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know what you think. If you want to try out... Um, curated bee bucks check out the link in the description of this video and use coupon code t-u-r-q-s-t-3-5 at curatedbeebucks.com for 35 percent off your first box thanks for watching stay tuned for goldie she's super duper cute Bye bye